Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. And today I just wanted to share another embarrassing story. Recently I, I told you about a situation where Tony and I hired someone and they ended up stealing a lot of money from us. And ultimately a lot of that was our fault because we weren't keeping track of things. Well today I want to tell you another embarrassing story that happened to us. Again really early on. This is when we were doing a lot of the cleaning. Uh, I don't think I ever shared this story. Years ago, I may have written an email about it years ago, but I don't think I ever did a video, so here it is. Um, Tony and I would work during the day. Um, I, would be cl I would be out trying to hire people and get new business. Tony was still working as an engineer. We were trying to make enough money that we could get him to come in and afford to have him come in and work with us. But um, at night, we would also clean. And, you know, so we're out in the middle of the night one night and we're doing some carpet cleaning in a very nice industrial, excuse me, manufacturing uh, company that we had. And an executive area needed to have their carpet cleaned. We were using um, uh, portable extracting units because it was way on the third floor, fourth floor. And uh, we got it done, apparently, in getting ready for some VIPs. And so we thought we had this done. It was late. It had been a long day. Uh, I said, Tony, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go grab the, uh, the carpet protector and spray this down to protect the carpet. He said, sounds good, I'll finish this up. I went ahead and did this and I sprayed the, the carpet protector all over and I don't think it was more than 15 or 20 minutes later, through my blurry eyes, I said, something's wrong. And I began to see the brown carpeting turn yellow in swirls, kind of the way that I applied, yeah. The, the carpet protector was bleach. That's right. I don't know if that, <laughs> if that can, occurred to you. That's exactly the nightmare that happened to us. Um, we looked at that. I don't know if we laughed or cried. If we, if we laughed, it was because we were so tired. But ultimately, we thought, what in the world have we done? So this carpet that needs to be ready for VIPs is a disaster. Um, what we ultimately did, I know this sounds ridiculous, is we actually that night in the middle of the night put together a water and bleach solution and thought we could evenly bleach the carpet to at least make it look presentable. I know that sounds ludicrous, but I went to sleep, had a fitful night's sleep for a couple hours, was there first thing in the morning, bright and early, 7 a.m., I think I was waiting for this gentleman, and uh, told him, I'm very sorry, I can't believe this, I want to tell you what happened. He said, I don't know what you're talking about, let's take a look. He didn't think the carpet looked too bad. Yes, this is the carpet that we bleached like a disaster and then uniformly bleached. And he was, I don't know if he was just being kind to me or what, whatever it was, we certainly appreciated it. He said it doesn't look that bad. These kinds of things happen. And we got through that disaster of a situation. But what we didn't do is ever forget the lesson. I used a container that had a product in it that was not labeled right that's the problem I grabbed that back when we were loading up to go out to the job site and I didn't have that properly labeled um, that mistake that could have been extremely costly really was extremely useful because we made it a point for years then later on to without exception as far as I know we really were particular about this never having things unlabeled so from your most embarrassing lessons and problems can come these amazing uh, principles that you put into your cleaning business I hope that helps. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.